Hey everybody and welcome back to Caller Malice. I want to apologize for the last episode because, um... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What have I done? No. No, go, go, go back to the HDMI port. Oh no. I was trying to turn up my TV and I changed the fucking channel. Why am I such a dummy? Uh, there it is. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> That's the opening. <laughs> anyway. How about we just don't turn it up? <laughs> how about we just leave it as it is? Welcome back to Color Mouth. I wanted to apologize for last episode because the audio was so bad. I was so loud. The game was so low. Hopefully, I fixed it. I hope. <laughs> Let's turn myself down just a little. There we go. Alright, let's go. Oh, you know what? It would be helpful to have the remote for this TV. I think we're on this one. Yeah, my pie's in the way again. Little pie, what are you doing? Getting in the way stuff. Squinting at the rays of the morning sun, I left the detective's office. Boy. Hello? Oh god, what do you want? I hate you. <laughs> I hate you because you hate me. I turned around to see Sazazuka there. What is it? What are you- Why am I hes- You're a total bitch! That's why! Huh? I just want to check something real quick before I actually record the entire episode. Okay, good. <laughs> I just had to check something. Ask for a time to think about joining us. Is there some reason you won't accept? Because you're an asshole! Maybe if the group was a little more welcoming, I'd actually want to join. Oh, I will waltz with sass! What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> no. Sazazuka's eyes narrowed in irritation, and then suddenly... He yanked my muffler hard. God, that's so, so horrible! Oh, you wanna fight? <laughs> Bring it on, I'm a trained cop! <laughs> I've got a gun! Fight me, bitch! <laughs> Suzuka's eyes glowering at me. So Did I say eyes? Suzuka was glowering at me. Wow. He stared at me with what looked like hatred. Oh. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. A chill ran down my spine and I froze. You are a horrible human being. That was a shocking statement. Yanagi, on the other hand, had said that he didn't want to let me die. The moment of safety I felt had vanished. I realized that even for a moment, I had allowed myself to think that I was in a sympathetic environment. But he's different. I could be killed at any moment. Did he really not care at all? Are you ch- <laughs> Get your hands off me. <laughs> Sex toe, smack a bitch. <laughs> right now, he deserves to get just whapped on the head. What have you- I didn't read. Get your hands off me and we can have a civil conversation as adults! Yeah, didn't they say that no harm will come to me? <laughs> Try being nice. Maybe then I'll actually join that's i replied in a voice cracking with fear uh good thing i have my guide open let's see Boop, in a bit. my mouse isn't working why what does it not matter what i say to him i guess it doesn't that's weird. Oh, cause, 
oh, there's a different answer that only shows after finishing a route. All right, there's the one I'm looking for. You, do you? That's not the question though. I guess it's this one. You know what? I'm gonna save just in case it isn't. Huh. That's weird. Like, it's the same question, but it's worded differently. I'm confused. It's, do you want me to die? But this is asked, do you care if I die? I guess you don't care if I die? Do you even care if I die? Overcome with emotion, I blurted out an in indignant question. Suzuka rolled his eyes. Baka, you too. With that, he let go of me. You don't give a shit about me. Um. I want to punch you so bad. Sazuka, exasperated, looked at me again inside in disgust. God, I hate him so much. <laughs> it's not like Damien hate. Damien hate is like he irritates me, but he's funny to be irritated at. This guy, genuine hate, genuine hate, and I hate Sexto for not doing anything about it. I hate you and your eyeballs. Under Sazuka's ice cold glare, I finally nodded. Will you stop calling me a baka nickel? <laughs> Will you stop that? I hate that name. <laughs> Leaving me with that, Sazuzuka went back inside without a second glance. What? A oh, bitch. Feeling like a fugitive, I checked behind me once I reached the intersection. I saw him go back inside, so I knew he would have wouldn't have come after me, but still. I want to hurry up and get home. I was staring at the red light when I was suddenly tapped on the shoulder. What now? I jumped in surprise and spun around. <laughs> it's the puppy. Hey, puppy! That SP guy! <laughs> Not knowing why it approached me, I nodded cautiously. That's right. I had a request for them. It was a detective agency, so I thought that it would be a good bluff. But his eyes went wide. Yeah! Uh-huh. <laughs> You're so close. I love you so much, I don't even know you. <laughs> Wait, really? Alarmed by the sudden twist, I thought back to what Yanagi said. I knew that Yanagi was independently pursuing the X-Day cases, in other words, this man knew the detective agency was just a front. Regretting such an obvious lie, I scrambled desperately for a cover. Uh, they made an exception for me! I had nowhere else to run, so I begged them and they took on the job. What a terrible excuse. Yes! Yes, I needed their help, I had no choice. Wanna help me? <laughs> he gave me a look of pity. I'm sure I would do the same in his position. He's so damn beautiful! Uh, the scene has changed, so I'll be off now. Goodbye. No, 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 we don't leave a precious face like that! I tried to leave as quickly as possible. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god, please, yes! <laughs> yes, yes! Take me home, my baby. He turned on my sleeve and smiled. Oh, he's so precious. This is bad. I'll be fine. It's just right around the corner. Okay. <laughs> I'm overcome by his gaze. 
Okazaki took my hand and started walking. He's pushier than I expected. What should I do? Okay, his first name is K. Okay. What? <laughs> I know. Of course, I didn't say that out loud. I know that too. <laughs> After another mental comeback, I took some time to consider my next move. I'm. Let me pet you, Puffy. Hi. What are you doing, Lily? You happy? Are you a happy puppy? Look at this puppy on the screen. He's a happy puppy too. Get away from my drink. You're gonna knock it over. I'm glad my holster can. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad my holster concealed my under under my coat. My dog, he left me. If not, he'd know what I was. Yeah, that I was a cop. She's just staring at me in the chair across from me. Read with me. Come experience this with me. What are you doing? What are you doing, pups? Pups, pups. No matter how many times I'd said I was fine, he wouldn't listen. And now we are neared my home. We near. We neared my. We neared my home. I didn't prompt the subject, but he'd been talking about the detective agency the entire time we've been walking. You know, he has that look of, God, what a pretty son of a bitch, but he's also got that look of, I can turn Yandere on your ass in a second. You see, you can- am I not- am I the only one seeing that I have evil behind me? <laughs> Death follows me wherever I go. I see. Well, they were the police, so it makes sense. Sazuzuka literally just choked me, but okay. Okazaki's gentle smile made me a little curious about why he was assigned by the police to protect the group. Hmm. This fancy apartment, Sexto. Um, it's right here. If I just picked a different apartment to lose him, he'd follow and know I was lying. With that in mind, I thought I'd just head directly to my place. Bye. Do not walk in through my window, by the way. I know you know where I live. See you around? I wanted as little to do with him as possible. Sex? Oh, no. But he, if he was protecting Yanagi's group, I'd run into him again if I went there. Wait a second. The letters from the criminals. He could, could, he could have planted them, right? Hmm. He works for the police, so he could have slipped them in the first... Slipped in the first letter with the files. He comes in through the window, so we could have left the second letter in the office. Okay, don't judge a book by its window cover. How dare you. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> he said bye-bye. That's, that's, that, that, right there. That's my new sound for everything. Text messages, calls, bye-bye. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you very much for your help. I stared at his back as he walked away. Okazaki. Oh, he spoke as if he knew quite a bit about Yanagi's group. They're the people he's protecting, so that's perfectly natural, but... Only a certain caliber of person worked in the SP. What? There should be many other people in this town worth protecting in the city this dangerous. Yet he was watching Yanagi's group. Something def Something's definitely off. The longer I thought about it, the more I felt like I couldn't trust him. To begin with the first letter indicated that a criminal was in the station, or that there was a traitor in the ranks. But why me? Even more questions now filled my head. <sighs> Lily, can you believe this shit? She's one of she's one of our sympathizers and a woman with the potential to inherit our will, so treat her with courtesy. Literally Sasazuka just choked me. Caller people, did you not hear that? No, they couldn't hear it because his hand was around my neck covering the microphone. A sympathizer. Though Yanagi's group and uh, Okazaki were linked, I had no idea who the that term applied to. You? I couldn't think of anyone who sympathized with the perpetrators of the X-Day murders. Who put this collar on me? What do they want? I don't know anything. Lily, I don't know anything. Collar has been added to materials. You think it would already be added by now? I need to pull up my thingy. There we go. Sorry. When I got home, I sat on my bed to think instead of changing my clothes. You take a fucking shower, Sexto. Can't you take a shower with the collar? God, I hope it's waterproof. Shock yourself to death. What should I do now? 
My thoughts traveled a maze of twisty passages all alike. Uh. Oh my god, is that your brother? <laughs> I just I just snapped in my Kazuki! You're fu you're adorable. And a little edgy. Are you an edgy teen boy? My brother Kazuki came into the living room. The clock read seven AM. I was it was about time for him to wake up. Morning. Sorry I didn't make breakfast. He sounds edgy. He sounds like fuck life even though it's good. <laughs> Nope. I'll rest a bit and then head into work. I'm busy this evening, so I think I'll be home late. Awesome. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Love you too, bro. With that, Kazuki left the room. Normally, I'd say I'll make breakfast now and then force him to eat it, but honestly, I didn't have the strength now. Frankly, I had my hands full. I need to get some sleep. And off we sleep onto those pastries. <clears throat> I forgot what those are called. Those puffy little cookie things. I wasn't in the mood to do anything, so I plopped on my bed and closed my eyes. But slumber didn't take me. In the end, I didn't sleep a wink, and it was time for work. Well, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that, I guess. One second. Oh, I needed a drink in the worst way. I came to work tired, so I made a lot of careless mistakes. Mochita sent me home early, so I groggily made my way to the train station. I still have time left to burn before I'm supposed to meet Psyche. We were- oh. I wonder if there's anywhere near the pub where I can kill time. Yes? Ugh, man, today was horrible. Caused a lot of trouble for Machida, too. <laughs> today I should go over Yanagi's office and decide what I'm- <laughs> You're so cute! I love you! I love you and everything about you! Oh. <laughs> You booed me. Let me let me just kiss your forehead. <laughs> let me just boop your little nose. Oh, Kasaki, sorry, I was deep in thought. What what are you doing here? <laughs> we parted ways this morning. I didn't expect to run into him here again. They were serious about him being ghostly. I guess. Talk. I wasn't thinking quickly enough for this. We both work for the police, so I, so I don't want to let anything slip. I'll just have to apologize and. Oh, the stream I was watching is over. I'm sad. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stream like on my computer in the background. I'll just have to apologize and turn him. I, uh, what? Uh, I. Uh... No, I want to. I want to so much. I have plans already. Sexo. <laughs> Sexto, please don't deny this pure soul of your company. He looked at me like an abandoned puppy dog, and my reluctance faded. No, it's fine. <laughs> Away we go. He casually swept up my hand, and I knew that I was trapped now. <laughs> what a darling. What a babe. This park used to be bustling with children playing. Any person who was younger than 20 was now escorted by an adult guardian until they got home. Nobody knew when something might happen, so most people kept their children at home. That's why the park was so empty. Okay. What are we going to talk about? Anyway. Oh, I got the hiccups. We were sitting on a bench, but Okazaki didn't seem like he was going to say anything. You gonna tell me about your life story, babe? I just sat quietly and sadly looked at the abandoned park. Huh? <laughs> I felt a pressure. <coughs> I felt a pressure on my shoulder and I saw. <coughs> You're so. So cute. Is he tied? Oh, he's sleeping. He's a sleepy puppy. He's sleeping? You've got to be kidding me. He's not just faking. Oh, you precious soul. I watched him for a bit. He really did seem to be asleep. He just isn't really fell asleep in public. Was this guy really an SP officer? Now what? I can't move. Having said that, I couldn't bring myself to wake Okazaki who was sleeping so soundly. <laughs> He's adorable, but 
Did you just bring me in the park to sleep on my shoulder? I'd heard that SP work really tough. Work is really tough. Maybe he doesn't get enough sleep. Just a little while then. I was sure he'd wake up in a bit. Thinking that, I stayed still. Okazaki showed no signs of waking up at all. It's already been a half an hour. <laughs> Lily. Oh. 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 And it's getting really hard to hold this position. I kind of feel bad, but I'm waking him up. No, sex, don't, don't you do it, you heartless bitch. Okazaki. He's so tired. He needs sleep, the precious bab. Please wake up. The sun's already going down. Sleep, he must. Okazaki! <laughs> Morning. Uh. Not really. At last, Okazaki sleepily opened his eyes. No, it's evening. No, you weren't! You, you, said, you said nothing the moment we got here. It passed the fuck out. <laughs> For some reason, Okazaki still didn't get off my shoulder. It's so soft. Then he gently laughed. Oh, guys, I can't. I need this child in my life, and I need this child in my life forever. Huh? I'm glad you were relaxed, but I think you relaxed a little too hard. His tone seemed to be genuinely warm and friendly. God. God. Damn it! I love him! Ugh, I love him so much! <laughs> I'm not sure I get it, but I think he's genuinely thanking me. Glad you're able to get some rest, Okazaki, but did it have to be on my shoulder? Hey, you, stop licking yourself. <laughs> the day will come when you become mine, boy. <laughs> um... You said you had something to discuss. He slept on my shoulder and he doesn't even know my name. Huh. Uh, that's... I didn't want to associate with him if possible. It is too late for that! <laughs> so I shouldn't have given him my name. But I thought it would be even more suspicious if I didn't give him my name. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm-mm. This morning. Was he there? Were you there and you didn't do anything? <clears throat> Back then he was there? It would be strange for him to be watching the area around the office. It wouldn't be strange, but I didn't even notice him. No, 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 my name is not Neko. God. Uh, something like that. <laughs> Sexto! Do it and die! Do it and die! Sure, that's... Sexto! What the fuck? What the fuck? This conversation has taken a weird turn. I guess I can just consider it a nickname. How is cat a nickname to sexto? What? Ouch. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, he might have realized that cat isn't actually my name. What a deduction. Good job. <clears throat> I felt terrible, a terrible lying to a fellow officer, but the criminals will be listening too. If I tell him what's going on, it might endanger both of us. Just tell him your name, for God's sakes! Thinking, I gripped my hands tightly. Uh. Shit, that's right. Oh. Okazaki. His direct words and confident tone sounded like he'd seen through everything. I was bewildered, but strangely, my heart felt a little lighter. Oh, 
Huh? I blinked. Entranced by his gentle, smiling eyes, I felt like he was the straightforward one, not I. That made my guilt return with vengeance. So if... If I were to tell a lie that hurt you, what would you do? We can't make the puppy sad. Okazaki's glum expression was so faint it looked like his world would crumble. I... So many emotions are running through my body right now that I can't express them. I was concerned about Okazaki's expression, but he said that he had to return to work and just left. What? I thought I'd have to be on my guard, but maybe it was just the atmosphere. He just backed off. I don't want to suspect Okazaki. I love him with all of my being. With every single fiber. With every cell. Every atom that has made my body is filled with love for him. I don't think I've ever experienced this before, guys. I don't think I have. But! <laughs> How long have we been recording for? Yeah, that seems good. I am going to end the episode here because my heart is now broken. <laughs> and I can't drink with Psyche right now. I So many feelings. Too many feelings. So I'm going to go. And we're going to save. And you guys are going to watch me save. Oh, uh, we'll go back to save data one. Yeah, overwrite that shit. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.